And another review. Today I want to look at Generations Thrust. Um, this came out a couple of years ago and it looks really good. It's a nice burgundy color. It's got some cool chrome under the yellow canopy. Um, it's, you know, a neat design. One of the cone heads. Um, this particular one also features the uh, set by Repro Labels, which included a chrome fan sticker, faction logos, um, the chromey stickers in his shoulder vents, wheel stickers, um, a little chrome, I guess not chrome, a little colored one there on the gun thing, chromey knee ones, and toe stickers. I think that was. Oh, and those two. So if you have any of the older classics, Seeker molds, this thing has been around for a long time. Long, long time. There's, what, 20 different versions of it? Still, it's pretty cool, and Thrust is neat, and the only reason I'm really reviewing it is because I have sold this one today, so it is leaving my possession. And I thought I should have some record of it. Oh, before I transform him. Hey, look, I also have the Japanese Henke Thrust, which is a much more pink or reddish color than the burgundy. Isn't that great? It's pretty simple to transform. You can probably do it in your sleep if you have more than one of these, like I do. I think I have eight versions of this mold maybe nine and that's because I sold off acid storm last year as well as the um, original classics starscream all right there you go transformed more or less it's got a bunch of ports and these are removable, so you can put them on this side if you want. Or on his tail if you want. And I don't remember where they're supposed to go officially. I like them here, so that's where they go. And you can still peg his missile launchers into either hole. For the sake of differentness from the others. I often put it in there. And there you have Classics Thrust. <clears throat> Hooray! Thanks for watching.